Welcome everyone to the second of seven hex flange product training videos that we're going to be publishing to our YouTube channel. Today, we're going to discuss the different types of hex flange screws available and how a hex flange screw works or the benefits of the screw and a bit more detail about our expanded line of hex flange screws. As I mentioned, this is the second of our seven part hex flange product training series. So subscribe to our YouTube channel for updates on additional releases in this series. With that, when we're talking about hex flange screws, it's important to realize that there are two basic types, a standard hex flange screw and a serrated hex flange screw. Both versions are used when mounting steel to steel applications. So a sheet metal body panel to a frame of a vehicle or a truck body to the truck frame. Because of this application, standard hex flange screws are commonly referred to as frame rail bolts, as they are generally used to attach truck body parts to the frame or chassis of a heavy truck. Some folks refer to them as hex flange bolts, flange bolt, or simply washer head bolt. We frequently hear flange screws or flange bolt. It's important to note, inch product in the United States market is often referred to as a screw, while the metric folks in European markets call them bolts. They have become interchangeable over the years, and here in the US, you may hear or see of an inquiry using either description. So what makes a hex flange screw different? Let's take a look at a standard hex head cap screw. A standard hex head cap screw without a washer dissipates the clamp load laterally around the head of the product. What makes a hex flange screw unique is the formed flange under the head. This formed head acts like a built-in washer, dissipating the clamp load wider than a traditional hex head cap screw. Because of this feature, hex flange screws are the preferred choice for metal to metal fastening, like fastening a truck body component to a truck frame or body panels to other types of frames for other vehicles anywhere there is a metal to metal assembly. Now, hex flange screws can be manufactured with two different head styles, an indented head or a trimmed head, also called a fully formed head or smooth head. With the indented head, the process that creates the indentation uses pressure to push the head material out to form the corners of the hex. Indented head hex flange screws can be more susceptible to corrosion due to salt and water hanging up on the indentation on the head. Trimmed head, or also called fully formed head or smooth head, means that the head was formed using a trimming die that creates the flange by trimming the head material down to the final shape. It is popular opinion that trimmed heads are the better way to make a flange screw because the outside edges of the hex corners are fully formed by trimming instead of stamping. Some customers have a preference, so make sure you ask your customer which head style they want. Now, as I mentioned earlier, up until this point, Ernest's line of hex flange screws focused mainly on high strength and large diameter screws and bolts. This newly expanded line fills some holes in our high strength lines in inch and metric hex flange product and rounds out our line of grade five and lower screws and bolts, all the way down to a grade two hex flange lag screw. It also adds an 18.8 and the metric corresponding A270 stainless steel screw and bolt in that low to medium strength range. So what we wanted to illustrate here is that we have a more complete grade offering of hex flange screws that now makes us more competitive in that medium to lower strength application. Our expanded line adds five new styles 
and expands our plating of our grade eight and 10 nine line to include FOSS and oil finishes, along with plain, zinc clear, and zinc yellow offerings, and grade five hex flange screws and grade two hex flange lag screws that are used in wood applications. We've also added the equivalent of grade five in metric 8.8 .8 hex flange, and added a 10.9 line of bolts made to JIS or Japanese industrial standards. Lastly, our hex flange bolt line features a first for earnest machine with an A270 metric stainless steel hex flange bolt offering. Important to note that the variety of plating options shown here on this slide are line correct. So what you see here, we actually stock and are ready to send out and distribute. This acquisition greatly expands our selection of metric hex flange bolts and nuts. And as a reminder, I'm referring to them now as bolts. Remember that the US market hex flange externally threaded fasteners are referred to as screws, while in the European markets they're called bolts. It is important to know that not all metric bolts are made the same. Metric bolts and nuts are made to one of five key dimensional specification guidelines. Starting with DIN spec or Deutschland industrial norms from Germany. ISO or the International Standards Organization. EN or the European norms. ASME, the American Society of Mechanical Engineers. And lastly, JIS or Japanese industrial standards. Metric JIS is new territory for Ernest Machine as we've not focused our product selection in JIS. You will find this specification in Japanese manufactured equipment, automobiles, trucks, and construction equipment. JIS fasteners have coarse and fine thread and meet very high manufacturing tolerances, making a high quality part, similar in nature to a DIN spec part. Ernest stocks fine threaded JIS fasteners in some of the most popular sizes. Also new to the Ernest product family are stainless steel hex flange screws. I say new because Ernest has not been known as a stainless steel supplier. We have mostly focused on high carbon steel fasteners and usually see stainless on our special side of the business. There are numerous types of stainless steel in the market, and some of which are really considered more of an exotic material. But some of the basics you might be familiar with are found in our new hex flange line, 18.8 stainless steel and the metric equivalent A270. They are known for their superior resistance to microbial, chemical, and resist oxidation. Because of this, they are widely used in the manufacture and maintenance of food processing machinery. Like I mentioned earlier in this segment, this is the second of seven hex flange product training videos that we're going to be publishing. So like I said, stay tuned, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll get you an update as soon as we publish the next series.